excited about dinner? this. Well, well not well, me. Well, thank you. Not me. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom or a working mom, it's nice to have a quick, easy dinner solution in the pantry and in the fridge, and or in the fridge, actually. Our next guest has what she calls the delectable dozen. They're items to keep on hand all the time to have a nutritious, nutritious meal, but First of all, Tracy Bowers, she's worked in the culinary field for 20, 20 years, years, is joining us, and she's a featured speaker with the group known as MOPS, or Mothers of Preschoolers, which I yes. love. I love yes. the idea that you put this organization together. It's held at the Scottsdale Bible Church, which mm -hmm. we'll give you some information on. But what I love about what you've created for us today, and we're going to get to the 12 things that you must have a little bit later, but you've created a one-pot meal, yeah. which I love. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I've been <laughs> struggling with that. So what are you going to make for us? We are going to make braised chicken with tomatoes and chickpeas. Let's do it. All right. Let's, right, do, let's it. do it. Okay. Well, so, this is such an easy meal. And like you said, it's one pot. So it's one pot to clean. Now, what you have is this is my favorite dish or pot in There's the whole so much world. Fun. What is this called? Le Crusette. Is it, and I think I got mine at Costco or something like that. Sure, you it can was, get them all over the place. It is um, one of those coated cast, cast iron. irons. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you don't have one of these, a must, must, must have. Absolutely, you can take it right from the cooktop, right, put it right into the oven. It's and, wonderful. And it cooks fast and evenly? It cooks evenly? fast okay. and evenly. So we have some olive, olive oil, oil heating up. Okay. This is just marinated chicken. I've marinated it in garlic, salt Ooh. and pepper, and a few rosemary sprigs. We're just going to put that right into the pan. Do you have to marinate it very long? Some some meats need to be marinated longer than others. Chicken is so great; it just sucks up the flavor. Yeah. So you can marinate it for four hours or overnight. Okay. Whatever you. And if you forget, have time to. like I might. Then you don't need to marinate <laughs> then it at all. Forget about the marinating part. It'll still work. It'll right? still it all still works. So okay. we have the chicken in the pot. Okay. And I marinate it with two sprigs of rosemary. Okay. I just throw that right back into the pot. One you pot. do? One pot. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to finish this off in the oven. So um, what we're going to do is then we are going to add our chickpeas. Just right out of the can. Right drained. out of the can. Drain it. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And we're just going to get our... See if we can it. get this on a little bit hotter. Sure, yeah, yeah, that's on. Time? Okay. Well, you sure know what? Is. It takes a while for that pot to It does. To it warm takes up. a little bit longer. So this is just going to brown on both sides for the... It's the purpose of television. We're just going to brown it on both sides. You're going to brown your chicken before you add the chickpeas. Exactly. Okay, on both sides. Yep. Chickpeas. We're going to add the chickpeas. We're going to add a can of diced tomatoes right in there, right out of the can, juice and all. Don't drain it. Don't Good drain flavor. it. Good flavor. Okay. And then to that, we are going to add chicken broth. And okay. it's just a half a cup of chicken broth. And you can just buy the canned chicken you broth. You don't have to make your own chicken <laughs> broth at home. I don't know anybody who We're does that. We're busy moms. Seriously. We don't have to make our own chicken broth. I, I mean, it's wonderful. Does, does anybody they really? Make it, do that anymore? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Not at, not at my house. Not at my house Not either. at my house. And then what we're going to do is take a lemon. And what I like to do with the lemon is I like to just squeeze it right into my hand. And if there's any seeds, they sit That's in a your hand. Good idea. So we're going to do that. Okay. So a little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon on both sides. All no right. seeds in that one. No, there's not. And then we're cooking for kids. So we're cooking for a family. And uh, tomatoes can be a little bit on the acidic side, mm -hmm. a little bit. So I add a little bit of honey into there. Oh, that is a great touch. So you're just going to add a tablespoon of honey right in there. This sounds fabulous and healthy. It is. It's very healthy. There's got lots, very little fat in this recipe, got lots but of, a lot of flavor. And you know what I would do, because I'm kind of a no-salt girl, I would buy the... Um, the tomatoes that are no salt. Absolutely. Because that's just how Absolutely. I roll. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and if you want to buy the, the fire roasted tomatoes mm -hmm. out there now that are diced. And this is basically the, the entire dish. Okay. We're going to finish it off with just two pats of butter. And that just gives it a silky quality. And oh. we can let this simmer on the stovetop for a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Okay. And you have one in the oven, we right? We have one in the you oven. You want to pull it out Absolutely. so we can take a look Let's at take it? take a look at it. You know what? This is one of my favorite um, meals. You can make it in one pot, very little cleanup, very nutritious. Oh my gosh, look at that. And that chicken, I gotta find, um, let's see, I gotta find a fork or something because that chicken comes out super, super tender. It sure does. Here, let me do this. Look at that. Nice and tender, yeah, nice that. and healthy. Now listen, I know we're going to learn more about MOPS in, in just a little bit because it is an organization for moms. It is. And it is um, something that you put together for 
I mean, you're all mothers of preschoolers, but it's it's for moms, right. not, not play dates, right? We're gonna learn not, more. It's not play dates, and it's actually a nationwide organization. I love so it. So it's all over the country. I love it, and just just FYI, we always dress like this when we're when we're cooking in Doesn't the everyone? kitchen. Doesn't <laughs> everyone? So when we come back, you're gonna stay in the kitchen, and you're gonna make zucchini corn waffles stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Got to try those.